little man. Get out of the now, child. Come back to put crosses on the colonel and them white folks. Mammy shouldn't talk that way about the colonel. I know. She's been getting worse and worse lately. Come back here, Sam. It's me, the old Mandy. Oh, Mandy, that's just no back. Go on, child. That was Sam Smith. Been waiting for me to avenge him. Yeah, I 
Tom Savage. Joe Mandy. Then come back to you. Please. My baby lamb. I want to smooth out your pillow. Gordon. That's what I'm gonna do to you for killing my Sam. This is what I'm gonna beat you with. Won't be long now, Sam. Before you can rest easy. Because I'm gonna work my voodoo. The thunder's gonna growl and the light is gonna rain. The devil's gonna walk on a white man's grave. certainly sold me on the fact that the julep, with its fresh mint, dash of sugar, and generous portion of real liquor, is a nectar fit for the gods. An intelligent observation, young man. Here's to the julep. Say, Colonel, it might interest you to know I finished checking down at the turpentine plant. Found everything all right, I hope. Well, no, I didn't. I discovered a shortage of nearly 100 barrels of clear turpentine. Mm. And believe me, I intend to find out where they've gone. That's fast work, Wade. You've been here only a week, and you're already catching up with them. I'd better go over with you, though, and check on. Say, what am I? A drop pitch around here? Uncle, if you don't start including me in on these giggle-getters, I simply won't come down and visit you next year. Oh, nonsense, George. Look around right in the sun at Wade's growth, Eddie. In fact, I think well, my I... dear, young Southern girls don't go in. Curtains so on the virtues of Southern girls, Uncle. This Cinderella's been around and has yet to find any mass that brings turpentine for her from cooking. <laughs> Say, Colonel, if I ever have a daughter, I'm going to... You have, have a daughter? Hmm, optimist. So what do you mean? Who'd ever marry you? I never noticed that wormhole of fall, Mr. Carson. A uh, hundred barrels out of wormholes? <laughs> See you at the house, Wade. Home, Tom. Here's some berries I picked for you, Chloe. Thank you. They look mighty nice. Can I help you clean up out here? You know, I'd like to always. No, thanks. Didn't you 
Did you tell me you had folks down here? I've no folks that cares anything about me. Uh, Jim, everybody likes you. You don't. Enough to marry me. Jim, that's different. You think because you got white blood, some white man will have you? Yeah, he'd have you, all right. But he wouldn't marry you. Listen, Chloe. As long as there's a drop of black blood in your veins, you won't be allowed to forget it. I know. Jim, what if I'm not called? That's your mother. Oh, Jim. Two bits and I'll tell you folks. No, I don't believe in that story. What I tell comes true. All right, let's hear it. Iron water. Sticks and stones. Found a mad gal with a great big home. Found a room in the swamp. Found a weep in the field. Found a fight in the night. In the devil's will. All right. Now I know everything. So long. <laughs> Look what the old devil done give me child for luck. Go up the store and get me some hog meat and lasses. Follow that path and turn to the left and you'll come right there. Some fish. Give them here. I'll fix them for you. Better go on after that gal. She's going to the store. Better keep an eye on her.
I guess you saved my life that time. Thanks very much. Let me take the basket, Chloe. I'll go with the young lady. What's the matter with the men this morning? I reckon the most of them's been up all night voodooing down in the swamp. What goes on at these meetings? Don't know. But they got their eyes on somebody they don't like, probably working themselves up to a sacrifice party. You mean they actually murder people? Sure they do. Sometimes kill them on the altar and feed them to the gators. By the way, Hill, the one all smoking out among the pines stopped. See 
meet old Mandy? Not yet. But I had a hoodoo meeting last night. And I'm going to get her to work with us. You better do. Follow that, gang. Yeah. I've been the happiest man in the world. A lovely child. She loved the bowling. Today is the anniversary of her death, and every year Uncle looks over her little possession. Excuse me, Colonel. Look, Colonel, what I found at the door. Somebody putting the voodoo on you. Them switches means you're gonna get whipped. And you see that phone in the heart of that mud man? I seen that voodoo work before, and I knows who made it. Who made it? That's old man this work. That yellow woman, old Sam, what got killed in the swamp. Mandy? <laughs> well, she's been gone for more than 15 years. Took her child and went down to Everglades. That's right, Colonel. But that woman sure was voodoo, and maybe she done come back. Maybe so, Ben. Maybe you're right. We'll leave these things here, and I'll figure it out. Yes. Yeah. I remember I fired Sam for something. He knocked me out and ran away. Folks tracked him down and lynched him. Mandy never would listen to any explanation. Always blamed me for Sam's death. Poor little baby. She'd have been just about Joyce's age if she'd have lived. I think you're talking to that white man, and I ain't gonna stand for no fun that did a fix you no white folk. Just my child. You're black and your blood, you is. Just wanna marry Jim. He's your man. Oh, yes, I'm black. Oh, Here's a couple of juleps. Yeah. Make it three, Ben. Yeah.
that service. No, sir, that habit. <laughs> Take these things out of here, Ben. And when you get a chance, go down to the cabin and see if Mandy's back. Yeah. Say, hey, what is all this voodoo, Colonel? Just a mixture of savagery, gin, mumbo jumbo, and drum. It sounds like the menu at Sing Sing. Why all the drum beating? Well, that's the way they summon the faithful to their meeting. Well, I've read about these voodoo gatherings, but I never believed them to be true. Say, do they actually kill people? They've been known to sacrifice enemies and cut out their hearts. Sounds awful far-fetched to me in this day and age. Won't you marry me? No, Jim, I won't. Now let me go. Well, I'm glad you're here. I was afraid you couldn't come, Miss Chloe. I promised you. Let's sit down over there. You know, Chloe, you are a very sweet little somebody. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. I'm in love with you, too. Oh, how can you be? You only met me yesterday. But I do. My heart's full of you. Don't you feel a little love for me, dear? I sure do. More than I should. We can't. You don't understand. Oh, but darling, just understand me. I want you always. Oh, this can't go on. You don't know. Oh, but dear, I want to marry you. Oh, we can't. It's madness. Oh, wait. Please. Please. Our love is wonderful. But today, I want to be alone with its memory.
But another hint. Ain't y'all man the old Sam Roman who used to live around here a long time ago? Close I is. And you could have got them to... Uh, me and the colonel, here there's somebody living in the cabin. So what are you driving at? I heard what you said to Chloe. Well? Her mother's an old voodoo negress. Well, that's a lie. No, sir, that's not a lie. I know. I've lived with it. Brought him here in my boat. And another thing, sir. These blacks got it in for you plenty. You'd better be careful. Yes, sir, you'd better think it over. Yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe you can tell me what the thing is doing here. Rosenbach, there's a cloak. Your baby clothes? Yes. They got framed that way when I saw them in the water and nearly drowned. I don't remember if they did myself. But Mammy told me all about it. Fell in the water. Drowned. Mandy was a mother, just wouldn't listen to me. Well, it seems I've found my daughter and a son, too. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Wonderful girl in the world. Everything. Betty Ann. That name suits you somehow. But I'll always remember the time I first met little Chloe. Chloe. Please let me forget that, dear. You know, I am Betty Ann. Betty Ann, and mine forever, sweetheart. Oh, Dean. Oh, 
hello, Joy. Hey, what's the idea of all the ice like? Ice? What ice? Oh, you should be asking. You've been giving plenty to me. Well, I've had a lot to think about. Yes, so I've noticed. I'll have some time tonight. What for? More thinking? Possibly. I've been talking to Uncle about Betty Ann. We can't allow him to make a mistake. Mistake? About Betty Ann's parentage? How ridiculous. Shakespeare had his doubts about the wise father, you know. Yes, but this father knows his own daughter. And I love her. to welcome you all here tonight. I want you to be just as happy and gay as I am, and as my daughter, Betty Ann, is.
I've been wanting your gizzard a long time. Dance the sheriff, Harvey. We don't want any lynching. All right, sir. 